That's a ridiculous question. It's not so ridiculous. If there's anything you want to tell me about your husband, anything at all, I'm listening. Look, I know you're reluctant, Mrs. Harper. But you know where to find me if you ever want to talk. Yeah. Mr. Harper, I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to think real hard before you answer it. Did you know Travis Freeman? And if so, were you at his home on the day that he was killed? No, absolutely not. But I will admit I knew my wife was having a little fling on the computer, that's all. <laughs> so you're telling me that you knew that your wife might have been fooling around and it wasn't a damn thing you were going to do about it? Oh. I'm telling you the truth. You'd have to know my wife. She could never go through with an affair. She doesn't have it in her. Besides, she rarely finishes anything she starts these days. Look, detective, my wife hasn't completed a novel in six years. She goes to therapy twice a week because of stress, okay? So you're telling me that you were never really threatened by the idea that the little miss might have been fooling around? Exactly. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Why is that? If you're telling me you're innocent, Mr. Harper, then maybe it means that your wife finally finished what she started. Have a nice day. You really think her husband's dumb enough to blow everything over an online affair? Well, why not? She was ready to. I'm just not convinced that she's a murderer. She's definitely hiding something. Yeah, well, maybe, but still doesn't make her a killer. I mean, when you think about it, Mag, what, what motive does she really have to have killed Freeman? I don't know, Rex. Hey, you think there's some connection between Freeman's murder and his wife's suicide? Stop. Now, listen to me. Stop, Mag. Listen, we've got a murder and a suspect with a real motive. What the hell do we care about a five-year-old suicide? Call me crazy, but I think it's just too much of a coincidence. What coincidence, Mag? Look, we got a wife who kills herself, and then five years later, the husband gets whacked. I don't see coincidence. I tell you what I see. I see senseless tragedy. That's it. By the way, got some new information on Jean Harper. Oh. <laughs> it seems our lady is seeing a psychiatrist twice a week for stress. Shopping can be very taxing. Why don't we pay the doctor a visit, see what information we can find out about the Harpers. Let's go. You're investigating Jean in connection with the Travis Freeman murder. That's correct. You know, of course, that I can't discuss our sessions with you. Of course. But as you noted, we are investigating a murder, so any information you can give us would be much appreciated. There isn't much to tell, really. Dr. Thorne, can you tell us why Mrs. Harper sees you twice a week? I'm sure you know that information is confidential. Right. The doctor-patient confidentiality. Exactly. So, asking about the Harper's marriage... Would also fall under privilege. I could lose my license by answering that question. Yeah, but uh, Mr. Harper isn't a patient of yours, is he? Well, if you're asking my opinion as to whether or not Chase Harper could have killed Travis Freeman, I'd have to examine Mr. Harper. Otherwise, I'll reserve judgment. Does Mrs. Harper fight with her husband a lot? All couples fight, Detective. 
Look, if you have any specific questions you want to ask me, feel free to try to subpoena my files, but to sit here and offer conjecture is ludicrous. Hey, stranger. Got a minute? What? Okay, look, I don't know what your father told you, but I want you to know the truth. I get the gist of it. You're bored as hell with us. I'm not bored with you. I was bored with me. I just... I let my life slip away from me, pure and simple. Hey, it's called a midlife crisis, Mom. Lots of people have them, and most of them manage to get through it without having an affair. I was lonely. Look, you're grown. You don't need me. Your father, he's never around. He doesn't need me. And I met this man over the internet, and we just started exchanging emails with each I, other. Mom, I really don't think I want to hear this. No, no, he was going through a rough time, I was going through a rough time, and it just made our lives more interesting. That's it? Yeah. Are you going to see him again? No. Well... <laughs> That made it sound a lot worse. I'm sure he did. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Guess what happened to me today? What? Someone tried to run me off the road up on the canyon. You're kidding. No, I'm not. Came right at me. Did you see who it was? No, they took off. Do you think somebody's trying to kill you? Yep. You, say, you think I had something to do with it? I didn't say that. But what did you do today? I saw my therapist. I, I was interrogated by the police. Good for you. Where's Claire? Upstairs. How is she? She's fine. We're fine. Congratulations. You want her back. 
You're leaving? Yeah, I'm leaving. Guess what? Somebody tried to off Chase Harper. You're kidding. Nope. Any idea who? Oh, not yet. But I have a feeling the man's gonna be looking at his wife a little different tonight. <laughs> you think he's trying to throw us off? Well, the thought had occurred to me. But I think we ought to keep an eye on him. So what about you? Anything new? Nothing much. Freeman was pretty much a straight shooter. Spent most of his free time trying to get care for his wife's depression. Mm, poor bastard. Yeah, tell me about it. Judging from their medical bills, they must have had her on every experimental drug around. Yeah, well, I still think that you're barking up the wrong tree with that whole dead wife scenario. Humor me. What do we got to lose? <laughs> Nothing but time, I guess. Thank you for agreeing to see me again, Dr. Thorne. Of course. So, <clears throat> what would you like to ask me? What can you tell me about depression? Depression is a terrible disease that strikes 16% of the population. Mostly women. More than half. But I don't think I would categorize Jean Harper as depressed. Did she ever talk to you about her relationship with Travis Freeman? You know I can't answer that. Let me ask you a more general question. In your professional opinion, how depressed would someone have to be to commit suicide? You think Mr. Freeman committed suicide? No. His wife committed suicide several years ago. Oh, wow. So how about it? Just how depressed would someone have to be to kill themselves? I think to make a conclusion about someone without all the facts is always a mistake. I fully agree. How are you? You, uh, Carla Wells? Maybe. Who are you? Detective Ben Riggs. Well, Detective, as you can see, the Harpers aren't home, and I can't let you in, so sorry. Well, actually, it's you that I want to talk to, Carla. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about Miss Harper? Do I have a choice? Not really, no. Carla, have you noticed anything different about Mrs. Harper lately? I mean, you know, anything strange, out of the ordinary? Well, she is practically being stalked by you people, so yeah, I'd say she is a little out of sorts. Wouldn't you be? Maybe. But then I'm not the one suspected of murdering my lover. They weren't lovers. They may not have had a chance to act it out, but it was heading in that direction. Look, even if Jean had cheated, I wouldn't blame her. So you were aware that the Harpers were having marital trouble? You know what? I will help you in any way that I can, but do not put words into my mouth. I know you're only here hoping that I'll spill something, but she's my boss, my friend. And Jean would never hurt anyone. You're wasting your time. Well, thanks for your time, anyway. Have a nice day. So I take it the police are still hounding you? There's something else. Somebody tried to kill Chase. What? Ran him off the road. Oh, my God, is he all right? He's fine. He's pissed. But you know what? He thinks I had something to do with it. You can't be serious. I am serious. I mean, he's a jerk, but I would never do anything to harm him. 
You mean besides having an affair? I didn't have an affair. I'm just trying to be objective, Jean. I, I, I don't know how much more this can take. I, I just want all of this to end. Have you confided in any of your friends about this situation? Just Holly. Do you know what? We've become convinced that this all may have something to do with the death of Travis Freeman's late wife. It's just a conspiracy theory. But we've been chained to our computers day and night doing research. Jean, I just don't think it's a good idea for you to become obsessed with some kind of conspiracy theory right now. <laughs> You're right. You're always my voice of reason. Would either of you like a cup of coffee? I'll pass, thanks. Thank you. Well, I don't know what else I can tell you, detectives, except that Jean is my best friend, and she couldn't possibly have anything to do with this. Well, we respect your opinion, Miss Blake, but uh, we have to cover every option. It's what we do. In your opinion, how well did she know Travis Freeman? Couldn't have been too well. They only met once. So we've heard. But about how often did they correspond? Actually, every day, as I recall. But it was all so innocent. You would have to know Jean. We're getting to know her, I assure you. Did she ever express to you that their relationship was progressing? Well, she liked Travis. A lot. But I think she was more in love with being in love, you know? Yeah, I do. Look, I assure you, she loves Chase. I know she does. And, uh, he loves her, too. People stray, and uh, sometimes it takes a wake-up call to rein him back in. So you think that the murder of Travis Freeman was that wake-up call? I didn't say that. Hey, Holly. I should be shot. So much drama. What's wrong? Those detectives came to see me again today. What did they want this time? They wanted to know the extent of your relationship with Travis. And they wanted to know how things are going with Chase. What'd you say? I told them the truth, Jean. Look, whatever those detectives are thinking, we are not hiding anything. I'm sorry. I never should have involved you in this. Look, we are knee deep in this together. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the office and log in some more research time, okay? I'll make it with you. No, no, you just stay here. Act like everything's normal. Act the way we always do. Just be the same. Oh, well, well, well. Looks like a party. Hey. Hello, Holly. Hello, Chase. What are you ladies up to? Oh, just chatting. You don't have to kick me out. <laughs> I'm just leaving. Well, don't break up the party on my account. I'll come by tomorrow. Uh-oh. I love you. I love you, too. Okay. You know what they say about bullies? They're really cowards underneath. You're home early. Gotta take a nap. Shoot night tonight. You're going out again? That's what I said. I told you to go home early. Devin?
Hello? I'd say that blows a hole in the theory that Gene Harper is our killer. Why is that? Oh, come on. Holly Blake is her closest friend. Trying to kill her husband? I can see that. Travis Freeman? I can even wrap my head around that. But Miss Blake, Gene Harper is not a sociopath. How do we know that? By all accounts, Holly wanted to find Freeman's murderer just as bad as she did. Maybe she got too close. Sorry, I don't buy that. Where are you going? Shopping. Again? Yeah. I thought you were yesterday. I did, but I'm not done yet. Oh, who accused whom of buying at the mall? <laughs> Whatever, Mom. See you later. Be careful. I will. Hey, gorgeous. Where's your mom? Cool. Where are you off to this early? Uh, Mom, good to see you too. Later. place for this. Someone's gonna hurt himself. puts time of death between 9 and 12 last night. You don't think Jean Harper could have done that? She's the only person who knew she was working that late. Oh, please. Every time we talked to Holly Blake, she was working. Anybody could have figured out where she'd be. So how'd they get in the building? She didn't work for the Pentagon. Which brings us back to Chase or some other idea we hadn't thought about. But here's the question. You think somebody's doing it for her? Or is Jean Harper going to be our next victim? Let's go over and talk to her. See what she's got to say. If she's not our perp, Somebody's really got it in for Gene Harper. Put that away. 
Claire? Chase? Exactly the same. Oh, poor me, poor me. I'm so pretty. I'm so successful. I'm so damn bored I can hardly drag myself out of bed in the morning. You are Amanda Freeman's psychiatrist. Oh, yeah. She came to me week after week for three of the longest years of my life. Another spoiled rich bitch complaining about the monotony of her existence. <sighs> she came to you for help. She came to me because she liked the sound of her own voice. I've seen depression, Jean. I've seen it and I felt it. And let me tell you, worrying about the new Mercedes S-Class or buying the wrong wine for a dinner party, that's not depression. That's narcissism, plain and simple. You all come to me because for the bargain price of $300 an hour, you can drone on and on about all the drivel your husbands won't put up with. You never shut up! Like with Amanda. She never made any real progress. There was only one option. You killed her. I'm begging you, please. I'm so sorry. Please. You killed her! Because you were jealous. Excuse me, Jean. I am not jealous of you. Yes, you are. You want what we have. You want privilege and money and love. Oh, I wouldn't use the word love when talking about your marriage. Look, you might be a son of a bitch, but I love him and he loves me. Finally, a breakthrough. Unfortunately, it's too little, too late. Why didn't you just kill me in the first place? That would have been too easy, sweetheart. You take everything you have for granted. And before I killed you, I wanted you to know exactly what it felt like to have all those things taken away. Hey! Hey! Crazy bitch. You okay? Yeah. I'm sure you're I am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. I'm sorry. I never meant to push you away. Can somebody tell me what the hell is going on here?
Let's sleep in today. <laughs>